topic today is angle properties of circles and the question we have here reads in the figure below pqr and s are points on the circumference of a circle center o the points t s o and q lie on a straight line mpt is a tangent to the circle at p so we have the diagram as shown and then the questions that will follow uh, find the values of the following angles stating the reasons in each case so a we have angle srp b we have angle orp or c angle rpt d angle stp and e angle qpm so the approach to take when dealing with such a question is that for the diagram that you're given you first fill in every angle that is missing and then from there we can finally answer the questions that follow so here we will fill in these angles so the first property that we're able to see here is that we use what you're given to get whatever that is missing so the angles subtended at the center by code QR is 120 and the angle subtended at the circumference by the same chord should be half the angle at the center so the angle here should be half of 120 and for this case we have it as 60 from there we also have that angle QRO is an isosceles triangle so here and here should be base angles which are equal so if here is 120 then we're supposed to have these as 30 and 30 uh, we also have this as angles on a straight line so if here is 120 then here is 60 angles on a straight line and up to 180 Another thing is that if we have this point as 40 and here is 60, then for this triangle, angle sum of a triangle is 180. So that means this point is 80. Again, angles on a straight line add up to 180. So if here is 80, here is 100. Also, angles of a triangle add up to 180 so for this triangle here this point here should be 20 that is 60 plus 100 plus 20 should give us 180 here also angles on a straight line should add up to 180 so we have 100 for this particular point vertically opposite angles are equal so here is 80 and the sum of these angles about a point should be 360. We also have an angle that is still missing is this one right here. So first of all, we want to determine this angle. So PQ, or rather this is R, PR makes an angle with the tangent to the circle at point P. So it makes an angle with the tangent at this point so pr also subtends an angle at the circumference on this other side which is 70 so we will use the property that states that angles in alternate segments are equal so this angle here should be equivalent to this angle right here so if here is 30 plus 40 that is 70 so if we have angle at q as 70 then this is also 70 and then for this triangle here we have these two sides already 100 plus 70 so that is 170 and for it to make up 180 this should be 10. from there apparently we filled in all the missing angles so we can look at the questions that follow. So you're told 
find the values of the following angles stating reasons in each case so for a angle srp so srp so we are going to introduce this so this is another one that is introduced so we have s r p so we need this angle so we need to note that q s is the diameter and q s subtends an angle at the circumference so the angle subtended at the circumference by the diameter is always 90 so if already this one gives us 50 30 plus 20 then we are left with 40 so that the total angle is 90 so here is 40. so from there we can say that srp is 40 degrees and the reason is angles subtended at the circumference by the diameter is 90 degrees so that is the reason that led to 40 degrees so next is angle ORP so we have ORP so we found it to be 20 degrees and we found this by simply having the angle properties of a triangle so ORP we've seen is 20 and the reason being the angle sum of a triangle sorry is 180 degrees then next angle rpt rpt is this we have r pt which you found to be 70 and the reason was angles in alternate segments are equal so we have rpt should be 70 and the reason was angles in alternate segments alternate segments are equal then you also have angle stp stp is this s t p so it's 10 and we found that by simply looking at the properties of a triangle the angle sum of a triangle is 180 so stp is 10 and that we obtain by simply looking at the angle sum of a triangle which is 180 degrees and finally for QPM QPM is this QPM sorry we had not done this so for this particular part, we have this angle here that called QP makes with the tangent. So this should be the same as the angle subtended by called QP at the circumference. So for this particular case, the whole of this, which is 30 plus 20. So the property there is angles in alternate segments are equal. So we have here 50 here also is 50. So angle QPM, QPM is 50 degrees and the reason is angles in alternate segments are equal. 
So that's it for this question. See you next time.